Okay, 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 okay. Now let's talk about Indiana Fever and Caitlin Clark. But before we get started, I want to thank y'all for tuning in to the Gertie Mac Show, taking y'all time to subscribe to the channel, liking and sharing my videos. I really appreciate all that. Now let's go. So Caitlin Clark and Indiana Fever is taking on Seattle Storm, who is a much better team than the Phoenix Mercury. So um, halftime right now, Indiana Fever has a one-point lead on the edge, 35 to 34. Uh, now, this first half in this game, clearly you can see there's a big difference. You're playing a team that's a little much better on defense. And so the shots are um, not really going down. Then there has been a lot of turnovers, not just Caitlin Clark turnovers. Indiana Fever just as a whole has been turned over the ball. But um, let's just get to the meat and potatoes. Let's just call a spade a spade. Caitlin Clark in this game has no help. Teammates are not stepping up. That's what I'm talking about, about being consistent. Um, Indiana Fever, they have a game like they have the other night. Everybody hitting on all cylinders. But today, here it is. They're getting off to a slow start. Probably, they, hopefully, they can pick it up because they need to pick this up. They cannot let Seattle Storm hang around like this. But they also cannot afford for Seattle Storm to get a little edge. Because once they get the edge, Seattle Storm is a good team. They'll hold on to that lead. But let's look at this, though. For right now, Katie Samuelson, she's starting. She has zero points. She is not making no contribution. Now, Lissa Smith. All, amazing game the other night. She only has one point. Like, this right here, they got to play better than that. Aaliyah Boston, she only has three points. She is down low. She is going to have to step it up. And then she only, she has she has eight rebounds. But those three points is really hurting. Now, Kelsey Mitchell is the only one right now that is still performing. She has 11 points. So, she is still performing. She is scoring. She is bringing it in. Now, Caitlin Clark, she only had eight points. She had a few turnovers, but maybe we're at the point now where she might need to stop looking to pass and start looking to get her shot off because right now it is her, really, and Kelsey Mitchell. They're going to need someone else on that team that when Caitlin Clark goes out, no disrespect to Erica Willie at all, but she is the highest paid player. On that team that Chris decides brought in. She is making the most money. But unfortunately, when she gets in the game, the game she don't run that offense pretty good is not running smoothly. And that's going to have to change. Because when Caitlin Clark goes out, everything goes haywire. And I'm not just saying it's all on Erica Willow, but when she comes in, she's running the offense. It's just not showing on the court. The what she's getting paid is not showing on the court. I do not see big bucks, no women's. I see women's, 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 and I don't see the big bucks. And that just has to change. So maybe when this contract this year is over with, maybe Erica Willer probably will be on the chopping block. So they can bring in a point guard or someone that when Caden Clark goes out, it don't seem like all the air has been let out of the team. Right now, the team is looking like a team that were, when Caitlin Clark is not on the floor, they don't know what to do. This team has to be better with or without Caitlin Clark. Yes, you have a star player. Yes, she can shoot the three. But when y'all all are playing great and you all have someone else who can step up, this team really can go a long way. But right now, what you are seeing, you are seeing that everybody is waiting on Caitlin Clark to get going. Except Kelsey Mitchell, she is playing. But Lil Boston, um, Dantis, she get in. I mean, you got to step up, players. And Chris decides, I mean, I don't know what to say. I don't I don't know what to say. But they're definitely going to have to spend some money. And they're, they're definitely going to have to get someone on this team that can step up and be a consistent player. I understand you're going to have off days. But the whole entire team right now is off, and 
if they win this game, it's 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 going to strictly be because of Kaitlyn Clark and maybe Kelsey Mitchell too. But Kaitlyn Clark can win every single basketball game by herself, and right now, that is what it's looking like. If they're waiting on her to take them to victory, but y'all get in the comments, tell what y'all think. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and share this video. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop another video. And also follow my social media, at GertieMag15. Holla.